Well, here we are presented with a rather floaty headed and significantly Rory ugly. And that's not ugly like a bloke called Rory. I mean, that's him sort of ring in an ugly sort of fashion. So uh, we have Evolia in multiple different colours. That's quite a nice colour. That's also quite... That's, you know, I suppose it's subtly different. He's got a bit more of a sort of uh, head necky geary thing. Uh, hey, oh, he's quite tattooed with what looks like a eye patch. So he's the green sea, de sea daring, seafaring. Either way, he's uh, wearing green. We could be a Valkyrie. Uh, yellow again and green. Oh, I thought I thought for a second yellow didn't get a shield. That seems significantly unfair. But it does. It looks. Whoops! Didn't mean to go, go away. Oh, she's even done it with the big boobies. Uh, she suddenly. She looks like she's got sort of like tin cases, the sort you'd find on your common sort of pie-based thing. Just a tin case uh, on on the bra for no good reason. Anyway, it looks like the Valkyrie is very shieldy. Uh, we have the wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard. Ming the Muscles will come forth and smite you. Oh, wow. Hammer time. Just because of the trousers, I will add. And that one, I swear... That makes me think of Brian Blessed. I'm a bloody wizard! Uh, that's very Egyptian, isn't it? I, I actually quite like the notion of possibly being Ming the Merciless here, but we'll just see who the final character is. Now, technically speaking, I don't know where my save file apparently went, but apparently it decided to disappear. So I did have, I think in... I think it was that outfit. I had an archer available to me and I did the first level but apparently do you know that that one very skimpy up top a little bit of fur clad breastage that one sorry wear her trousers did she forget to put the trousers on um she just seems to be wearing the belt you did she's gonna have to nip off home at some point and uh, grab a pair of underpants or something. At least that one's got a bit more leg to it. That's a bit more sort of possibly shorts or a mini skirt. Either way, acceptable. That one, unacceptable. Uh, and then that one, that one again seems to just be a belt. She has literally just got a belt with a sort of immense flabby sort of thigh just sticking over the belt. Fine everywhere else, just suddenly this immense volume of thigh over the belt. I think that's meant to be her thigh anyway. She's meant to have sort of like a very high cut uh, arse line of a swimming costume. So anyway, back to the ugly warrior and I think I am going to be the green wizard. And I... <laughs> fuck it, I'm actually going to call him... Ming! Oh, where's the end? There we go. And... Ming! Ming! Skip through. We now have a wizard called Ming. <laughs> Spectacular news. Anyway, now we've gotten through the trivialities of looking at thighs the size of a small country, breasts covered in silver tin foil, and a warrior who has the ugliest raw face in the world, I will introduce this game, for it is Gauntlet Legends upon the PlayStation 1. I believe it's elsewhere, and I was led to believe from the comment, if memory serves me correctly, the N64 one and the PS1 one, PS1 one, should have done them the other way around, although having said that, no. You'd have still gotten PS1 one, 
is substantially different to the N64 one. So uh, I, I have no experience of either one. So this is a new thing for me. Hopefully the tower's there. We go. I thought the tower wasn't going to load for a second. Scorn has sealed away my... Oh, sorry, hang on. I'll, I'll try and read it properly this time. Scorn has sealed my gateways with his evil magic and trapped my powers inside of magical obelisks hidden in each world. Free my power from these obelisks so that I can open the other worlds to you. With my last spell, I open the mountain kingdom. Scorn's forces have hollowed out the ancient volcano Isserbius. I'm thinking that's probably an I. Isserbius. And hidden one of the three, one of the four, one of the five, one of the six. Are you ever going to stop? No, I don't know how many shards there are. I'm just making this up as I go along. Find a way into the volcano's core and recover the first of the four shards. You'll, sorry, that was one sentence. Recover the first of the four shards you'll need. Your quest begins. Oh, I glow into the scene. Ah, uh, yes, of course, that's why I wasn't moving. I was using the wrong button. Always, every time I use the controller, I always assume it's going to be on the joystick. But uh, this, of course, I, I, I would think the way I've set the controller up is identical to the original controller, which means the original controller, although I think eventually had analog sticks, uh, didn't immediately have analog sticks. It sort of it went through a phase of... <laughs> They're the most ridiculous looking things in the world. This makes me think... Sort of, it, I don't know. It's it's not quite Golden Axe because, of course, Golden Axe was side-scrolling. But it sort of makes me think of the newer, the the sort of the the abomination known as Golden Axe, which was the newest one, the sort of three D one. It sort of makes gives me a reminiscence of that. Uh, but other than that, I can't say. It's it's a nice little sort of boom boom boom. As, a, as the archer, I was able to do quite good distance attacks. I'm guessing as the as Ming the mage, I can also do some kind of ranged attack. Ba -bam -ba -bam. Oh yeah, I'm fucking Ming the mage. Oh, this was before he became merciless. Uh, do I think was it not a case? I Oops. Apparently, I can't. Aim straight. I wonder, was there ever a... Oh, I can change what statistic is there. Don't really need that. Uh, oh, unlock chests with keys! Whoops, I did not mean to utilise that. Oh, there's a key here, so in theory... In theory, in, in theory, keys. In theory, keys. Yes, there we go. Buy gold to buy power-ups. Superb. Uh, there's also some kind of, sort of, speed dash. You see that metre... Uh, I, I, the person who requested this as part of the anniversary special, I forgot to mention it in the last game I played, but nevertheless, this one I will try and remember. It was me, our mental. Really wish I'd kept the notes upon the screen so that I could confirm that, but I'm, I'm moderately certain I am right in saying it was me, our mental, who selected Gauntlet Legends. Get the fuck away from me. What you have to do is, if you didn't spot that, there was a sort of spawn chamber, sort of a mountainous thing. As you can see, now it's turned into just a rock that I can stand on, or stand in, technically, stand in. Uh, his feet are nice and warm inside that rock. But that was a door, originally, and it was only because I blew up the door. Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah, this now. Fruit gives me extra health. I didn't... Oh, fire breath! Now I've got the mighty fire breath of death. Is that going to be more fire breath? Oh no, it's not. All ah, right, so with now with the no extra items. Oh, I can deselect whatever it is I don't need. Oh, well, I, I've gone round in a big fucking circle. I did was not expecting I get away from the dangerous subject. That's right. It'll come out and wreck you up. Uh, I seem to just be... I don't... I no longer seem to be using... My, uh... 
extra fire skill. Oh well. I needn't have picked up... Oh, I've got my health at max. Marvellous, right. So, gold. It's fantastic. I still have a key, so I can move on here. Up the stairs, grab the key. Now, I wonder what his uber magic. Oh, wow. Death skull. That is spectacular. Yes, I was in the midst. You see, while it's charging, there's a bar just, I mean, just above the sort of... It's, it's a fucking obvious bar that's charging. You can see that. I don't need to explain in detail. If you hold square, it would seem, you sort of do a sprinty type thing and it drains the bar. If you let that bar fill and you press the attack button and the sprint button, you do the uber magic of death. And apparently the the archer's one seemed to be like this ultra bow twin shot because she suddenly... What's really weird about the archer? And I really should learn to carry on uh, moving whilst explaining. The weird thing about the archer was she distinctly had... Oh, okay, really... I am hitting it, just not enough to... <laughs> not enough to destroy the damn thing. And there is a second one. Or at least I'm guessing there's a second one. There we go. And uh, now... Yes, I know all about red switches. And I got a trophy. And... Oh, I got level... I must have leveled up at some point or something. Uh, key, right. The archers, the archers weird because they seem to have a bow that is fireable via only one hand. It's not your step, it's not your standard bow where you go arrow in, pull back, launch, arrow in, pull back, launch. No, the bow the archers have in this seems to just be a sort of automatic <laughs> single handed thing that just goes pop, 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 constant arrows. And the ultimate sort of uber magic of turbos, it, for them, is this sort of awesome... She int They introduce... I say, yeah, it is a she. It can only be a she, it seems. They have distinct gender roles in this game. Only men can be wizards. Only women can be archers. Woo! Yes! Speedy boots! I have them! Yes, indeed! I don't think Speedy Boots does anything for my attack speed. It just ops my movement speed. And we come to the end of the level. Now, hang on. Right. Save game. Yes, please. Are you going to accept the fact that I've saved you this time? Or are you going to just ignore it again? Or are you going to claim the memory card's full, of course, which seems to be the classic problem. This seems to uh, fuck up. But still. Anyway. It wasn't hugely... Ah! Oh, I'm a warrior! Oh! He's got such an open mouth. You've got the wizard. He looks ominous. He's got the white eyes. He's got long, tied beard. And he's got the sort of pyramid hat. So he's like, I am angry. I am a wizard. I will burn you to death. You've got the females who are a bit sort of more like, mmm, sultry goddesses of love. And then you've got the warrior who's just like, <laughs> it's, what? it's like, what the fuck? Checking memory cards, saving game. You did that to me last time, so I do not believe you. <laughs> it's a tad unfortunate that I genuinely find myself going, no, I just don't believe you. Checking memory card. Overwrite. Yes. Because apparently I've just asked him to save it a second time. Because obviously... Game saved. Marvellous. Right now. I want to... Returning to game options. Yes. Exit. Returning to tower. Yes. I think that's what I want. Anyway. It would make sense. I want to get to the second level. The level I've never seen. Ah, oh, fun times. This is actually a really good game. For, for anybody who has not played Gauntlet Legends, recognised Silverpool. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's it. That's the seal of approval. It's pretty awesome. As I say, I haven't experienced the N64 one, but apparently it is substantially different. Uh, I, I must admit, I would perhaps be inclined to have a go of the N64 one just to find out precisely how different, or at least, at the very least, look it up. But it sounded like uh, emulation of the, uh, the other one is not all that great. Now, that looks... Ooh, don't know what that is. There are secret characters as well. 
I think somewhere on the line it asked me, do you want to go to the secret characters screen? And I said, yeah. And then it said, you have no secret characters. And I went, ah. Oh. That's the volcano level again. Ah, this is the sort of... I can buy power-ups and powers. Invisibility! The cloak of invisibility. Oh, Phoenix. Any guesses that's going to bring me back from the dead, perhaps? Uh, an extra key. Well, it seemed from the first level. I'm guessing that might not be a necessary trend, but from the first level, it sort of looked like it was a case of... They just gave you enough keys to be done with it. A fire amulet. I wish it gave you a bit more explanation. I guess this is the problem. I reckon a lot of this was probably explained in the instruction manual. And that is why... Glory be to instruction manuals of old. They were a glorious tome of information that you would need in order to complete a game. But lo, behold, the shit we get nowadays two pages two pages that's that's not even a fucking manual that's not even a leaflet it's barely even paper scum <laughs> i've got my book of nimbus the net storm manual do you know hang on hang on i have actually i'm going to i'm going to cause the entire fucking stack to collapse no i'm all right oh did you hear I'll just do it again. Now that is my... Ah, that! I'm being attacked. Yeah, wrong buttons. <laughs> Why would you possibly send enemies out at me immediately? Especially when, game, you must have clearly known. You must have known I was fiddling with a book. Let's just have a look. Now I accept, not all of these pages are... Because several at the back apparently are blank. 107 pages... Ah, uh, that's what I call a manual. No, <laughs> and I suspect this one perhaps relied. Oh! Ooh! Oh, that's what the backwards E thing must mean. Spread gun, spread gun, that motherfucker. <laughs> Whoops! Uh, but it does come with a cost, or didn't. Rather, it doesn't come with a cost as such. Oop. It does have a bar that is telling me, destroy the dirt mounds to uncover switches. I will give that a damn good go. More gold. And another key. Smite the enemies. Ah, smite them good. Smite them really good. Yes, I remember that now. Oh, what's this thing going to do? I don't know, but it's timing down just as a sort of... If you move into anything, you automatically attack it. It's quite nice. I don't exactly know where I'm going. There's not a map. Which... Oh! Oh! Ah! Can I kill it? Can I kill it? Can I kill it? Oh, I've got wings! I've got wings! Uh, my shots are going straight through. Uh... Uh... Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Automat attack! Ah, the automat attack apparently doesn't work. I don't know what that did. That's apparently a sort of move. Oh, it's the potions, you prick! Sorry. Uh, oh, that's turning it off and on. Ah, that's why the fireball stuff didn't work last time. Because I needed to turn shit off and on. Well, we'll turn the wings back. We'll turn the wings on. Uh, I wonder if turning on a fire... No, fire breath does not work. Ah, apparently that spirit thing I can't kill. I don't, <laughs> don't know if there is a way of killing it. But apparently I don't know what it is if there is. So I think it's just avoidance. I'm going around in circles, aren't I? Is there a map of any kind? No, it doesn't look like it. Because those buttons appear to do the same thing. But we've obviously never been down here. Or else it wouldn't be behind a locked door. Although that being destroyed makes me think. Actually, yes, we have. This is where we started. Oh dear. Where to go? I, I don't. I do not know. Oh, switches under boulders. 
That's what, that's what we said was here. Da 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 What did the switchy do? I do not know. Did something occur where the switch was, or was I just freaking blind?